Hey y'all, Trace here for, ah. Oh man, a Charlie horse. That one hurts. Hey there, Horsey Charlies, Trace here for D News. We've all had one of those nights when you're jolted awake with pains in your legs so severe that you're left temporarily paralyzed. We've all had that, right? Scandinavians call this affliction a wooden leg. Australians call it a corky. Here in the United States, we call it a Charlie horse. But whatever the colloquial term is, the feeling is universally unpleasant. I'm not running in my dreams, so what is happening during these nocturnal leg cramps? And why, despite our advances in medicine, do we still have to deal with them? Well, just like any other cramp, a Charlie horse happens when your muscles suddenly and involuntarily contract. This can result in anything from mild twitching lasting a few seconds to intense throbbing pain lasting several minutes. Not only is the whole thing extraordinarily painful, but it is totally out of your control. During a Charlie horse, we lose the ability to relax the affected muscles, and as a result, we are left powerless, waiting for the pain to subside. So like many things in science, no one really knows why we get Charlie horses. Because these cramps are short-lived and in most cases harmless, the medical community hasn't invested a whole lot of money figuring out a cause. One possible cause could be simple muscle fatigue from high intensity exercise or too much standing. Staying in one place for too long or sitting at work or on a plane can also lead to cramps. Another cause could be dehydration, because when your body's fluids are low, your muscles receive less oxygen and can easily go into spasm. And this makes sense because dehydration can also lead to an electrolyte imbalance, which is another likely cause of uncontrolled cramping. This one makes a lot of sense, because electrolytes are how our body sends electrical signals from the brain to the muscles and tells them when to relax or contract. If the balance is off, then those muscles can misfire and contract without the ability to relax again. Potassium and magnesium are particularly important because they play an essential role in muscle relaxation. In fact, it's a little morbid, but potassium has been a key ingredient in lethal injection mixes because in high doses it prevents muscles from contracting, including the heart. Of course, this would also make it hard to study because the imbalance is so localized and temporary. So scientists would have to somehow know there was an electrolyte imbalance and then be watching for the misfire when it happens, which is basically impossible. Anyway, if you get regular Charlie horses, some doctors advise that you gradually increase your intake of potassium and magnesium to reduce the risk. Of course, we're not doctors, so talk to yours before you actually do anything. Since we're not 100% sure why these cramps occur, it should come as no surprise that we also don't have a cure. But there are some things that you can do to get that horse off your back. Many people swear by a hot bath or a shower, or a gentle massage to relax the muscles. And although it may seem counterintuitive when your muscle is as tense as a horse's rear end in fly season, stretching is also said to be beneficial. Sidebar, why the hell are they called Charlie horses? Legend has it it was a 19th century slang for leg cramps that affected professional baseball players, and some historians say it was named after a horse, Charlie, that pulled the roller at White Sox baseball games. Others point to Charles Old Hoss Radburn, a pitcher who suffered from the condition, but in reality, it's a big old shrug. Nobody knows. Did you ever hit that button on the remote that says SAP that switches to the secondary audio programming on an old TV? It usually meant the audio was then dubbed into Spanish. YouTube doesn't have SAP. So click here to watch an episode of D News in Español about what happens if we don't go to El Baño. Generalmente, nos constipamos cuando viajamos. A tu cuerpo le gustaría ir al baño, pero tú estás durmiendo. O podrías estar en un avión y elegir aguantar las ganas en lugar de desafiar tu elasticidad en ese diminuto baño para hacer tus necesidades. Besides cramping, what else happens to your body when you get dehydrated? Good news, I looked into that too. You can find out about it right here. You commonly hear that we are 75% water, but different organs are different percentages of water. The brain is 73%, for example. Skin is a little less at 64% water, and muscles and kidneys are a little more at 79% water. So do you get cramps at night? Tell us your story down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more D News, and I'll see you next time.